Tēnā koutou tamariki mā, today we're going to be learning about core whaiwhai patterns and how they connect to our natural environment. Whakarongo mai. Core whaiwhai patterns are a form of Māori art you'd usually see when you visit a marae and go inside the whare nui. Look up at the ceiling and the rafters are often covered in core whaiwhai patterns. Core whaiwhai patterns are not just pretty decorations, they tell stories of our people and our environment. But they all begin with simple forms. So let's start there and see where those forms come from. First up is the kōru. The kōru is the most well known. Hopefully you'll be able to tell here by my picture that this is from the fern plant and really the fern frond. You'll see here the stalk and then it turns into a bulb makes up the kōru pattern. Now I'll draw the simple core fi fi pattern that comes from that form. So we start with the stalk, goes round into the bulb, and then follow that stalk back down. So see that, that bulb and background? Now if you found that a bit difficult, you can start off with just doing the circle and then a curved line down for the stalk. So let's try that one more time all together. Around to the bulb, back down the stalk. Next up is the kapi. The kapi comes from the crescent moon. It curves round and again and has dips like the craters. Let's try to draw our own again. So let's start with that crescent moon shape and then some dips for the craters. Now let's try it without doing the whole crescent. Just do the dips straight in. Now some people also say that the kapi refers to eyebrows. Maybe it's like those eyebrows when you've got a couple of lines shaved. Now we use those forms to develop further patterns. First up is the kōwhai nutu kaka. This name comes from the nutu kaka plant. The kōwhai fai form follows the beak-like petals around and has a bulb at the tip and comes on an S-curve back into another bulb. Let's try and draw our own again. Round to the tip and then S curve back into another bulb. Let's try and do it another way around. Bulb, S curve, bulb. And how about with that simple form again? Let's just try the circle with a stalk that goes back and then an S curve with another circle. Karawe tamirikima. Now let's learn a form that represents strength, the mangopare. The mangopare is the hammerhead shark. The kofai fai form goes down the body and then goes out to the eyes where we have some bulbs at the ends. So let's try that. Follow the body form out to where the eyes would be and bulbs for the eyes. Ane te mangopare. Here is the mangopare. Now let's try flip it the other way. Miharo. Now it's time for you guys to start drawing your own patterns. You can join the patterns we've learnt to make bigger, more elaborate patterns. Like here, you'll be able to see the kapia form. Or you'll be able to make up new patterns like this mangopare 
that now has koro inside it. Use the patterns that you've learned, link them together, turn them round, flip them over, let them float along the page. Create patterns from things in your environment and tell your own story with Kofaifai. Kia kaha tamariki ma.